how to use square online website builder hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use the squares online website builder tool so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here i'm on square's main website squareup.com not to confuse it with squarespace and squareup are both different companies they are have different similarities you know quite a lot but there are really really different companies and over here this is squareup.com and over here this is how it looks like when you sign up now many people didn't know this but you can actually create a website with square up now how do you create a website pretty simply you must have heard of a company called weebly now weebly has joined forces with square up in order to you know has joined forces with square up and now you can pretty much create a website using squareup.com now there are a couple of ways to do that but you know i have found them to be very very weird the best way i found it to actually go over to the weebly's main website over here and just simply sign up that way you'll actually you know get into it but if you use square ups you know links somehow reload i don't know why they do that but sometimes they don't work i don't know why whenever i you know go into the online website store it takes me over to the sign up page and i sign up and i go back over here and there's no option to you know create a website over here so it's really weird so to actually create a website you're going to need to go over to weebly.com and once you're over here this is where you create your website for squarespace as you can see over here e-commerce by squarespace uh, they basically you know bought weebly and now it's become a part of squarespace so if you want to create a website this is the way to go go over to weebly.com and do it so over here i'm just simply going to go ahead and log in let's see if it works log in with square over here i'm going to log in with my square account yeah there you go once you've logged in this is how it looks like now over here what kind of a website are you trying to create i just need a website or i need a website with an online store depends upon your you know needs so let's just assume that you want a website with an online store that's why you're trying to create a website with square up because you're trying to create an online store so let's go ahead and click on a website with online store you just enter in the name of your store so it can be anything so just simply gonna do this and i'm simply gonna click on next and are you currently sending any items and yes i am currently selling no i'm not currently selling so i'm gonna choose that and when are you planning to start selling these are like some of the five questions that they ask you know to get you started so let's just say i'm gonna start in like um, in a month or two and then they ask you what type of items will you be selling online so clothes and shoes food drinks so let's go with clothes and shoes actually maybe even jewelry yeah let's go with that one and these two are good and then we'll just simply click on continue and then we add in address over here so over here i'm just simply going to write uh street number one there you go boom click on next so you know skip that part as well but if you want to you know continue you can it all depends on you and boom there you go this is how your dashboard is going to look like as you can see it's pretty simple really good you have a bunch of different options over here so design your website add an item to sell set up your domain connect a payment gateway set up shipping rates and stuff like that these are all the things that you can do to you know get started with your website so let's go ahead and start to create a website now you can go ahead and design your website by clicking on design now or by coming over to the left side of your website and over here you will see this option website if you click over it you will have a bunch of different options as well so you have edit site domains as well so simply click on edit site it's going to take you over to the editor of your website and over here this is how it looks like so over here this is the editor and it's a pretty simple editor and you have a very minimalistic website already you know nothing too fancy so over here you can go ahead and add images of your logo you can add in different colors fonts styles as well so if you want you can go ahead and upload your logo uh, i'm gonna skip it now it's gonna ask you to you know input your logo now it's gonna ask you to input your color so let's go ahead and change the color you can change like red it's gonna you know change the accents color of your website uh, i think this looks pretty nice so or we could go with color really bright actually we're gonna go with this one but a little bit darker i would say like somewhere around yeah that will looks good and then we can choose the style of the website so black the white background with the black text and the accent colors or with the black background or and with the blue accents and the white text or we could go with the blue background and the white text and the white accents it all depends on you or something in between like this 
Uh, I think this looks pretty nice. So we're going to go with this one. It's not completely white. It does highlight certain things uh, on the website. And so we're going to click on next. And now we have the option to change the font. So over here, this is the Butler font. We have Bookmania. We have a bunch of different fonts that we can choose from. So uh, I think I'm going to go with a different font. So we have Robot over here as well. Pretty simple, really good. Uh, I want but I want something that's a little bit more bolder yet it's also really you know round um, like this one but I don't really like this it's too weird but it was just good because uh, you know you can easily see it we can even go with this one actually this one looks good it's much bolder simpler big yeah I like this a lot so we're gonna go with next and now we have the button of you know the shape of the button so we can go with pill we can go with rounded corners or we can go with sharp. I definitely like pill, so I'm going to go with that one. And once we've, you know, designed our website, we just simply click on done. And now we can go ahead and set up, start editing our website. So now over here, you can use a domain that you own or you can use a Weebly subdomain as well. So it all depends on you. So this, so if you choose the subdomain, this is how it's going to look like. Uh, you could maybe like edit it out so let's go ahead and edit it and we can go ahead and change and now this domain is what it's gonna be but as you can see it's unavailable so we can go with cosmos 2.0 and we can click on change maybe even like two that domain was available so now that domain is now ours you can even find other domains as well but for now let's go ahead and edit our website so to actually go ahead, let me just dismiss this all. So to actually go ahead and start editing your website, as you can see, it's really easy. Whenever I hover my mouse over a certain element, that element gets highlighted. So over here, this, you know, section, I'm over here, it's highlighted, which means that I can go ahead and edit this section. So if I click on it, it's going to give us a bunch of different options. It's going to give us images, labels over here. You can even add text. You can add buttons as well. Secondary button if you want. Uh, main button if you want as well. It all depends on you. So let's go ahead and add like a label as well. So over here, celebrate the moment. I think that looks good. And if we want like an image, we can add the image as well. So over here, let's go ahead and add an image. So you can upload your own image or you can go into the free photos and choose an image of for yourself. So choose whichever image that you feel most comfortable with, um, like this one right here. So if I click on this image and I click on done, then this image will be uploaded in the background. And that's how it looks like now. But, you know, it's coming. This little section is in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and I'm going to try to find an image that is, you know, fits for our criteria. OK, so we have a bunch of different images, but we can't use any of these because their aspect ratio is different. So actually, let me go back up here and choose this image as well. Let's just go with this image anyway, and we'll just edit it out, you know. And now what we can do is maybe we can go into customize and over here we can go into layout. So this is where we can change the layout. So maybe we can go with something like this or maybe go with something, you know, that's small over here. Maybe we can make it smaller as well. Or maybe we can go with this. This is already it. So we'll go with the defaults now. Maybe even be background. We can select that as well. But for now, let's go with the layout. Uh, what if we go under here? This will allow us to view the entire image and have like a, this tool over here in the left side. Or we can go with this one over here. Yeah, I think this looks much better. So we'll keep that. Now we'll move on to the next part, like this one over here. Now over here, we can add in the section title, section description, subscribe button as well. And we can even change the layout for this as well. So if you want, we can add an image over here as well. Click on image and over here, you can add a bunch of different images. So choose an image that you feel most comfortable with and move on. So let's just say this image, right? Click on done. Boom. Now that we have this image over here. We now, what if you wanted to add like more sections to the website? All right. For that, what you can do is you can go into content right you can click on done all right you have a bunch of different options you can add a new section by clicking on add button over here and this will allow you to add a section now you can add whichever feature you want you can add an image gallery you want let's go with this one over here you, you can add more images click on choose image and you can add a bunch of images so like here we can add this image boom there we go we can add another image as well maybe if you scroll down like choose any image that we want 
like this one over here click on done then over here we will have another image there you go now we can add more images like this one click on done there you go we add one more let's go with this one and click on done and boom now we have an image gallery as well so this is how we can do it now what if we wanted to like you know add more stuff over here again click on section and you can add over here a lot of different other features that they offer like featured menu item membership event donation all these other things as well and once you have edited your website once you've edited you just simply click on publish and boom you're good to go so that's how you do it that's how you use the you know video editor that is how you use the website editor tool for square and that's how you create a website as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye